let's go ahead and put it in here. It's just easier this way. You take it by the handle. Take it by the handle. You find the little groove right here. Sometimes that's easy to do and sometimes it's not. Better practice it a little bit. There's a little groove there and then you can slide the clamp down and close up this system, okay? I just want to put it there to hold it. We flushed all the air out and so what we're quickly going to do is change tubing and bag. All of it's set up. We've identified the patient. Mr. Jones, we're going to give you a little extra fluid. Um, the doctor's ordered that for you today. Uh, can you tell me your name? And look, it's his name, Van. We know we got it. Okay. So all you're going to do here is to take off your cap and place it right into the infusion device. Okay. Let's go ahead and lock it down. There's a little lock on this, so let's use it while we've got it and lock that down. Now. You can go ahead and secure it at this point, or you can go ahead and start your machine. Let's go ahead and start your machine, because the longer you don't have that fluid run into the patient, the possibility of a clot forming in the end of that catheter, okay? So we've got um, our bag open, okay? And we've got to set the rate. Now this will be a primary line, so we can go primary or secondary. We want primary. And then we've got to set the rate, and so you either go up or down. What was it? We what is the rate to be? 167 milliliters per hour. Then we set the volume to be infused. This is a brand new bag of 1,000 cc's. We set that at 950 to allow us a, a, a little bit of time when that alarm goes off to get back in there. If, if the nurses aren't jumping real fast, it's because they know they set it at 950. They've got a little bit of time to go in there and grab a bag and change a bag before all the fluid flows out the, of the patient. So we've got 950 is the VTBI, vo uh, volume to be infused, and then we just set it at run. Make sure that you're open. Now this is going to be because this model does not like IV fluid. All right? And so this is what I want you to do to secure the tape. I want you to go ahead and put a, a piece down here to secure. Now this will either be an off-site clear plastic type of dressing or it'll be clear tape depending on what they use, okay? And so we have secured it. I want you to make a, a U type of um, turn with your tubing. Don't make a V now because that'll cut your tubing off. I want you to make a U. I want you to come above the dressing. above the dressing and have one tape up above it. And that's the way I want you to do that. Okay. Oops. No. Any questions? Tubing and bag and set the pump. Now what if... Is there another bag over there? Open it up. What if we didn't have to change tubing and bag? We just had to change bag to bag. That's right. Let me show you how to do that. That'll be a part of your return. Okay? So we would say that all of this bag is out. Right? Okay? So we're going to turn off our machine or hit it hold, whichever one you want to do. You're going to close your slide clamp. And this is empty, right? This is empty. Okay? And all that for me just a second. Since it's not empty. And you're going to take this off. This would be empty, so it's very likely to splatter on you. And which one of these do we open? The blue. The blue. We'll hold this down. We just open up the blue. Everything's turned off. Reset your machine. Open your clamp. Set the rate again on a primary line. Primary 167 volume to be include uh, to be infused 950, and we run it.
So we change tubing and bag and bag to bag. Okay, what do we want to check an occlusion? Because that's part of your assignment. So we've got it on run. You want to keep it on run. Let's take it out of the cassette, uh, out of the pump, and lower it below the level of the patient. See if we get a flash flashback of blood. Okay. If we do, we, we don't have an occlusion. We don't have a clot in the end of it. I'm going to try to get out my other arms that will take the fluid and will won't leap on you. Okay. So we check for an occlusion. So what if we need to DC this IV? Okay. You'll need an alcohol pad. You'll need a two by two. You'll turn everything off. You'll go in, you'll identify the patient. Would you tell me your name? We're going to take out your IV fluids. You, uh, doctor's ordered that they come out now. This won't hurt. You might feel a little bit of pressure. Okay, I would use an alcohol pad to loosen the tape. Lift up the sides. It cuts the tape nicely, especially with these off-site dressings. Take your two by two. You do not have any uh, pressure on your site while you're removing the catheter. You're not removing a needle, removing a catheter. So you're going to put your little dressing down to cover so it won't splash it. Pull it horizontally and then put pressure. You want to examine your catheter to see you have the whole catheter and part of it's not broken off and floating in the bloodstream. You want to make sure there's no pus because infection control will have to be notified if it is. About th one to three minutes and then put a band-aid on it. If somebody's on Whopper and it may take a little bit longer for them to uh, clot. And that's it. We're going to talk about document in just a minute. Yes, you did. Exactly where it was, you mean? Oh, okay. Okay. We have a